guys, Alexandria here. Today we are going to do a full face using all things ColourPop with the exception of a few things that I'm going to let you know. But we did this look using all ColourPop cosmetics. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get into it. And if you are new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that I may continue to enable your makeup purchases. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, all things ColourPop. The only exceptions to that are my eyebrows because I ran out of my ColourPop brow pencil and forgot to repurchase. I actually love that brow pencil quite a bit, especially for redheads. Um, it's gonna be kind of casual today, gotta smoothie it going. I'm also gonna use the NYX No Filter Powder because I forgot to pick up a ColourPop setting powder. So, my bad. All right, and I will also need a Wet n Wild Single in brulee to make up for the fact that there is no matte cream in the uh, brown sugar from Karuchi palette. So that's just a personal preference thing that I need. And uh, so yeah, everything else will be a one brand look though. So I don't actually know if I've ever done a one brand look on this channel before. Normally I don't have enough from a brand to do that or brand doesn't contain enough items to do that. So I'm gonna go in with Chai. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting because ColourPop, you know, I'm sure most of you guys know, I remember the first person I ever heard talk about ColourPop was Coffee Break with Danny, and she was completely obsessed with the Super Shock singles because that's the first thing they ever came out with. And she, swore up and down, loved those, made quite a few videos. I was like, yep, sounds awesome. This was long before they were even like really successful at that point and not that many people had heard about them. And then they've just kind of expanded from there. Now, some of the products that I'm gonna use today, I really like. Some of them are just okay and are not my favorites. So I'll let you know kind of as we go what I like, what I don't care for. Uh, let's go in with Jamocha, which makes me think of the Jamocha shake from McDonald's. Uh, I like coffee, what can I say? I actually haven't had any coffee today. I had some Diet Coke because I'm addicted to caffeine, but sorry, I'm going to try to pull my bangs out of the way here and fix them. I would use a headband, but as I've mentioned, when I put the headband, I get alfalfa hair going it's it's not cute although what we've got going right now is not exactly cute so I uh, I don't own any of the ColourPop brushes either that's something I've considered picking up but I don't need any more brushes and I'm pretty happy with what I have so you guys will have to let me know if there's a ColourPop brush that you think I just absolutely need in my life but, uh, that nah, I can pick that up. All right, now let's go into the shade Chalk, which is a nice kind of warm chocolatey brown. Put that in the outer V. I really like this palette. This is uh, one of my favorite kind of neutral. It's got some warmth, but it's also got some cool that I really appreciate in this palette. So. I think ColourPop and Karuchi did a great job with this one. The shade Salute in here is really interesting. It's got like an interesting like duochrome happening and it's really nice. I'm gonna play with, I'm tempted, the challenge is, is the mascara that I have today to use is blue. And I, so I want to um, use that, but I really want to use one of my eyeliners in this shade Piggy Bank, which is this like really stark purple. And I don't know if those two are gonna play nicely together. So we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> I can always add mascara. I'm actually planning a different mascara video right after this, so I'm gonna have to remove the ColourPop mascara. We'll just, we'll just see. So, but I really appreciate ColourPop as a brand and I feel like 
some of the things they do really well. Their pressed shadows being one of them. I really like uh, what they've done with their single shadows. I still like the Super Shock. I just forget about them. But I pulled one out for a Shop My Stash. Oh yeah, I owe you guys another Shop My Stash, don't I? Um, that's probably going to be another couple of weeks. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm not sure that many people really cared about the Shop My Stash anyway. And um, if you really love the Shop My Stash, let me know in the comments. But the uh, it caused me to pull one of those out. And I forgot how much I really like the effect are a cluster over here today. Okay, so with the idea that we're going to use this purple, I'm going to go in with the shade Auburn in the middle, which is in the middle. I'm going to go in with the shade Auburn and then Ginger. I actually intended to do like a cut crease kind of look today, but I forgot. <laughs> Let's be honest. I forgot. I guess it's not really it's not really too late, but it kind of is. I really like these press. I mean, these single, uh, these press shadows. Yeah, I really like the press shadows. I think they're really good. Uh, and these, I mean, these shimmers, man, they just it's really beautiful. They really, really pop. I'm curious to know in the comments which eyeshadow palette from ColourPop is your favorite. Which one? I think, I don't actually know which one is my favorite. Like I said, I'm testing all the nine pans for a review, so I don't want to give too much away on that. Potentially spoil it for you, but this is definitely a contender. I'll say that. This one is definitely a contender. Okie dokie. So, here's what we got going so far. Like I said, I'm gonna put this Wet n Wild in my brow bone. Should have like gotten my life together with the brushes over here. Because it's a little chaotic. Alright, it's concealer time. People love and swear by the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It is not my favorite. I actually really like it for cutting the crease, so it would have been an appropriate time to use it. I'm going to use the shade Fair Neutral. I kept and decluttered. I bought two and they were similar and I decluttered one. I'm hoping that wasn't a mistake. Uh, so we're going to use this under the eyes. Like I said, I like it. It's fine. It's just not my favorite. It's just okay. I know people swear by this concealer, so. Although I'm liking it better today than I remember liking it in the past. So, who knows? This video may change my mind. All right, now I did pick up the NYX No Filter Foundation. This is in the shade Fair 7N, so Fair 7 Neutral. I did pick this up. I've worn it a couple of times and I haven't been a big fan personally. I also have the, uh, or had, I think I decluttered it, the, um, the liquid also and I I feel like it kind of has a similar effect just a different like method of uh, a different method for you know putting it on your face <laughs> my brain is not working very well right now this is the consequence of not drinking coffee I guess but it's okay it doesn't last very well in my opinion I'm filming today and I'm gonna go have some like dinner but I mean and it's already it's actually a later start than I expected it's almost two o'clock so I, uh, I got a little later start today than I intended to but I just don't find that the lasting power 
is great. And also, as you might be able to see, it has okay coverage. I can build it a little bit, but I have some problem areas and I just don't think it does that great a job covering those areas. So I'm gonna Okay, so it does build decently. I can live with that. I'm not loving what's happening here under my nose. But anyway, I do. So I'm combo oily, but I do notice that when you get up close to my skin with this particular foundation that it really clings to those dry patches so i don't love that about it but you guys will have to let me know if that's been your experience also or maybe i'm alone in that i do like the convenience of a stick foundation but i rarely find one that i actually like enough to wear all right we're just gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna set with that NYX No Filter Powder. This is a ColourPop video, but I like this powder a lot. I went ahead and set because I'm gonna use some of the Super Shock Cheek for my bronzer, blush, and highlight. I'm kind of having a low affair with these right now. I rediscovered these from doing that declutter. I'll link that for you guys. Like I said, I'm not sure what my obsession with ColourPop is right now. I'm just in a ColourPop mood. Um, so this is in the shade Paradise Cove. This is one of their bronzers. Cool. Now for blush, the shade I have is the shade Nonfiction. I don't believe this shade is available anymore, but it's a nice kind of warm pink. That took a minute. Okay. It's a nice kind of warm pink and it has some flecks of shimmer in it. I'll try to get a close up on that for you. Uh, but I feel like this is just kind of that nice glow from within, that kind of rosy glow. Um, I can actually thank the Natasha Denona palette for helping me to realize that I actually don't hate cream products because I, up until then, was pretty anti-cream products I had a pretty I had a pretty firm stance on the anti-cream product but uh, since that video and since using the creams in that palette I'll link that video in case you guys want to check it out and see for yourself but I'm no longer anti-cream that sounds silly <laughs> And then highlight, I'm going to use the shade Flexitarian. I'm obsessed with the shade. This will also be my inner corner highlight. I'm just going to use my finger to tap that on the high points of my cheekbones. And just blend that in. I'm not talking loudly enough. I feel like, I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm shouting. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I do really like the way this kind of all blends together naturally on the cheek. You know what I mean? I mean, this highlight is definitely popping for sure. All right, now I'm going to take a brush and place this in my inner corner. Also, I saw a video once where they were like, why does my inner corner highlight not look like the beauty gurus? And they said something about like, pointing the brush up so that you're not sticking it directly in your eye. I try to remember that and when I do it, it always looks better. Now we got some newer products going. I have a couple of the cream gel liners. This is the old formula, old packaging. I know they did come out with a new one. And then I also have this liquid liner that I want to try. And then, like I said, I have that mascara which is blue. So maybe we'll just put it on the upper lashes and see what happens because I really want to play with the shade Piggy Bank in my 
um, in my lower lash line. So I'm gonna take Swerve, which is the black liner. Just put that up here. I cannot talk in liner, I'm very sorry. All right, and this intense purple here. a punch that's awesome can you guys see that on camera i love that okay all right we're gonna get this liquid liner a go i did put it on my hand i didn't really make much of an effort to wipe it off but it did stay on pretty well i was washing some dishes and stuff like that but i'm gonna not be able to talk i'm gonna fast forward you through so we can kind of put it on together but uh i'm not i'm not good enough to, <laughs> to talk in line so here we go. What do we think? I think it's pretty good. I like the fact that it's not overly liquidy and not overly saturated with product because that's the easiest way to mess it up so i appreciate that about it i don't know i'm i could use for it to be like slightly more liquidy but overall i think it looks pretty good i don't pretend to be an eyeliner expert of any kind so all right mascara all right so i have the new volumizing mascara this is in the shade Mind Blue Ya Mind. Uh, I see what you did there, Color Bob. Um, so, this is what the packaging looks like. It's supposed to be volumizing, so we shall see. I'm going to curl my lashes because I always do. And we're just going to put this on the upper lashes for now. See what happens. Move the hair again. So. The wand, this is what the wand looks like. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it. Is it focusing? Come on. So it's a, um, these appear to be just brush bristles. They're not plastic, regular bristles. Um, and then obviously it is a very blue color mascara. This wand feels very long to me for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because I've been using, trying to use up my minis or something. Okay, so the blue is there, but it's pretty subtle. Blue is there, it's pretty subtle blue, which I guess is good. So I've only touched this, I haven't done anything with this one. Just kind of a base of comparison. I mean, it's definitely doing something. Let's do one more coat. But I don't think the blue is as obvious as you would expect it to be given the shade that you see here on the tube. So maybe if you had like blonde eyelashes, but I have pretty dark brown lashes, so. All right, so there's two coats. So what do we think? I'm not really sure how I feel, but you guys will have to let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious. All right, so let's do this one. I guess as you build it, the blue definitely becomes more apparent. But it's not overly obvious, though. I don't think it's like super clashing with the purple on my lower lash line. But I think if I were to put it next to the purple on the lower lash line, it'd be pretty obvious. But I remember a time when I used to wear blue mascara uh, to kind of accentuate the the brown in my eyes. And I know my mom likes to do it with her green eyes. So there we go. Mm. 
Last up for lips, I have all things ColourPop lip products, but I decided to go with a liner, lip, <clears throat> liner, lipstick, and lip gloss, although, yeah, okay. Is that what we want to use? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so. My favorite lip liner from ColourPop is Snap. This is my favorite, as you can tell. It's busted, and I think this is like my third or fourth one of these. So. This is kind of like my perfect Your Lips But Better shade. And then I'm gonna use the ColourPop and Disney Designer in Bell. ColourPop has so many lip products. They've got their glosses, they've got their matte liquid lips, they've got the ultra satins, they've got I say glosses. They've got lip liners. They've got bullet lipsticks. I think my favorite formulas are the lip pencils and the glosses. Those are probably my two favorite. And then the ultra satin lips are like a third favorite. Not a huge fan of the ultra mattes. And the lipsticks are pretty good. They're, the formula changes, so that gets a little confusing for me. But uh, yeah, that's kind of my overall thoughts on ColourPop lip products. And then here's to you is the lip gloss I'm going to use. Now this is the, uh, this is one of the ones that has the, okay guys. So I realized my rude camera cut me off and I didn't get to finish applying the lip gloss with you. I have no idea where it cut me off, but I think it cut me off when I was explaining that there are brush tip applicators and doe foot applicators for the lip glosses. But anyway, so here we have the completed look that you see using all ColourPop with the exception of those few things that I mentioned. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and let me know your favorite ColourPop product down in the description bar as well as ones that you're not a huge fan of. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.